Well, here's the mighty Mississippi and a train and uh, some uh, experiments going on in this one. Uh, it's a fairly long piece, matte paper, so it's wonderful. And uh, let's zoom in. And you can even tell from back here we have a road on the right, a road on the left, and there's something in the middle. Uh, I worked very hard to try and keep the train tracks as straight as I could. Again, struggling with the banana shape. And I think I shot this one with the camera lens racked all the way out. So these are all marginally telephoto lenses. Now, uh, this is just a pretty straightforward. I stand in one place and shoot uh, in a circle. And the train came, as you may recall. You're in this picture, too. Uh, and here it comes. Uh, this road and the road down on that end are the same road. Uh, this is just a, when you do a 360, you have to decide where you're going to break the picture in, into a, a ribbon. And uh, what is most interesting, which to me, I guess, I thought was the river. Uh, and the road, uh, again, the, the road really, if you want to be uh, factually correct, I think to myself when I put these together and you're doing the road, the road would actually be curving into the banana shape, but instead I tried to keep the line straight. Uh, you do get the vanishing point. Uh, I kind of like the way this turned out. There's a germ of an idea here with the road on this side and the road on that side and the river in the middle. Uh, this, this piece is not without flaws, however. Uh, you are in here, although the camera can't focus on it. You're there in the car. And uh, I decided to tilt the camera as I shot the sky just to give it because I was more conscious of the shape of the picture at the time, this being uh, back in September of 2008 when we drove up the Mississippi River. So what this reminds me of, this sky, the way I have all the photos tilted, are uh, when you see those mosaics of the surface of Mars or the surface of the moon that they shot from some uh, satellite, and they take all the pictures and they stitch them together, and they take on these interesting shapes and they'll have something like that. It's a mosaic, I guess, would be the term. Uh, but this picture kind of lacks any any kind of real action or anything. You know, we earlier in the day I passed a scene where the sky and the river looked really silver. It was in the morning, and I really regret not stopping then to photograph it. I mean, you get some nice blues and streaks in this, uh, greens in the foliage, but overall it's kind of a static picture. So although there's some neat things in it, it just doesn't really do it for me. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this piece. Maybe I'll toss it. There's another problem that vexes me quite often. Uh, if you remember the Ed Haney collage from the 1997 road trip, I have problems with exposures. And there's a minor variant of it in this. Uh, we come in here by the train. You can see, uh, at least here in the office, but also here in the camera, the blues are, uh, of the sky are kind of nice. But as we move towards this side, they become browner and browner. And I'm not sure what causes that, if that's just the difference, probably a difference in exposure. I don't remember if I set the exposure to, I can check, to uh, one shutter speed and aperture and just went all the way across. So the uh, graying, browning, whatever that happens on this side, uh, which doesn't show so well in the camera, looks kind of a nice blue through the camera. Well, and there you go, let's Photoshop it. Just Photoshop everything. Who cares about reality? All right, so that's the mighty Mississippi from September 2000.